I call the Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, I move that pursuant to section 1612 of the Reserve Bank of New Zealand Act 1989, the House ratify the funding agreement entered into by the Minister of Finance and the Governor of the Reserve Bank of New Zealand pursuant to section 159 of that Act on 8 June 2010 and presented to the House on 18 June 2010. Uh, Mr Speaker, the activities of the Reserve Bank have become uh, significantly more extensive since the last uh, time that the Parliament ratified the Reserve Bank funding agreement. Uh, five years ago, the Reserve Bank had uh, assets of around $12 billion. Uh, now it has assets of $31 billion. Uh, in fact, it, it holds half of all the assets that the Crown holds through financial institutions considerably larger than the New Zealand Super Fund and about as large as the New Zealand Super Fund and ACC combined. So it is our most significant uh, financial, uh, government-owned financial institution by con some considerable um, distance. Uh, interestingly, the growth in that uh, size of the Reserve Bank activities uh, occurred during a time uh, when the economy was growing. Uh, and over the last couple of years, uh, it's been relatively stable. This is in sharp contrast to other central banks around the world who in the last two or three years have, in a number of cases, seen the, their size uh, treble as they've taken on the um, assets or liabilities of struggling banking systems. We're fortunate to be considering this agreement in a context where uh, the Reserve Bank has not been unduly affected uh, nor had its responsibilities uh, stretched by a stressed banking system, although there has been some uh, relatively small impact on the Reserve Bank's balance sheet. The Reserve Bank's operating expenditure is funded from gross income under terms established by the, Re the Reserve Bank of New Zealand Act 1989 and a five-year funding agreement. Uh, section 159 of the Reserve Bank Act requires the Minister of Finance and the Governor to enter into funding agreements for successive periods of five years. The current funding agreement was signed in April 2005, varied in two April 2008 and expired at the end of June 2010. Uh, this motion sees the Reserve Bank's operating expenditure profile increase from 46.9 million in 2019 to 47.8 million in 2010-11, and then increasing to 56.4 million by the final year 2014-15. Uh, this increase in expenditure reflects the additional responsibilities that the Parliament has given or is in the process of giving the Reserve Bank, as well as ensuring that the Bank maintains the capability to carry out its functions effectively now and in the future, and in the light of the uh, financial crisis of 2008 and 2009, uh, we pay a good deal more attention to the Reserve Bank's ability to carry out uh, its um, function of maintaining stability in the financial system. Changes to the Act in 2008 gave the Reserve Bank responsibility for the prudential oversight of the non-bank deposit takers. Under the Insurance Prudential Supervision Bill, uh, the Reserve Bank will shortly take on responsibility for prudential oversight of insurers. The Reserve Bank also has a new role to play in the uh, complex operation of anti-money laundering and countering financing of terrorism. As well as the resourcing the bank to undertake these new responsibilities, the funding agreement provides for the upgrade of New Zealand's banknotes, which will be 15 years old by the end of the agreement. Provision is also made to maintain the current capacity and quality of policy teams and information technology systems. This Government is committed to ensuring that rigour is brought to the expenditure of all public monies, including that by the Reserve Bank. We will not increase funding without strong justification and clear benefits. Accordingly, the new five-year funding agreement has been developed in an environment of considerable scrutiny. The bank has had to convince the government that its activities will, be, will provide value for money. Equally, the government has had to ensure that the, the bank is adequately resourced to carry out the significant new functions 
uh, which, that Parliament is handing to it. The agreement reflects tight control of underlying costs, uh, reprioritisation within existing funding levels to absorb a range of cost pressures. Our central bank has a reputation for efficiency and effectiveness. The government expects it to continue to deliver excellence in outcomes while providing leadership across its entire range of activities. The governor understands the need to use the resources he has available to best effect. While New Zealand did successfully navigate the global financial crisis, much still needs to be done. And we, uh, in this agreement, are ensuring that the Reserve Bank has the resources uh, to complete the job. Ratification of this new five-year funding agreement uh, is evidence, I think, of a commitment by the Parliament that the Reserve Bank remain operationally independent, uh, that it is equipped to handle the roles that Parliament has given it as a prudential supervisor, uh, to ensure that the Reserve Bank can fulfil uh, the uh, functions of many central banks have now taken on to underwrite financial stability. I therefore ask for the House's support in ratifying this new funding agreement. The question is the motion be agreed to. I call the Honourable David Cunliffe.